we go. No turning back now. There's Mary, our bread broiler chicken that we saved. She's doing pretty good. She's now one of the bigger chickens of the group. keep the pigs in here a little bit this morning because we got to mow the lawn today we got Lorraine's parents coming over to help us today and I'm just shoveling their wood chips or shoveling their poop with wood chips They're always in their feed. I still try to give them a clean bowl though. My goal for today is to weld. I'm gonna weld and actually cut out a hole in that cooler trailer that I'm building. Also we need to get more pig feed. We're almost to the end with these two these two pigs and uh, you know I don't want leftover pig feed. <laughs> so you know we're trying to now at this point buy bag by bag almost. We're supposed to get a good frost tonight and it's pretty chilly this morning. So yeah guys, winter's coming. Yeah, that means we need to chop some firewood because it looks like we're gonna be living here another year or another another winter. I hope not an, I hope not another year, but you know, we're trying to look for a place. So but right now it doesn't look too good. We're gonna be here another winter, so that means we need to chop more firewood. Another thing we're doing today is smoking. We're smoking this chicken. This is one of our pasture raised chickens. Um, what kind of seasoning is in this? Do you know? Uh, this is uh, onion powder, garlic powder, paprika, and thyme. Okay. And oregano. Just got some swine feed and some more layer feed, guys. We, yeah, we kind of run out. I didn't get a chance to go to my co op. When you belong to a feed co-op, you really gotta plan your, your feed. Like how much feed exactly, how much feed are you gonna use in, in that month? You know, kinda go month by month, and sometimes you're off, sometimes that's hard to come by. A lot of the times, places are sold out of feed around here. Like today, they had two bags of feed at that spot I just went to, and then now I'm going to another place, and I just called them, and they only have two bags of feed. I gotta start my work now. Sometimes it's just hard to get out, you know? It's hard to start work. I need to cut out a hole in that trailer, so I'm gonna need my tools, probably a jigsaw. My lawn guy's here. <laughs> Guys, my father-in-law's been mowing our lawn all year long. All year long. How does it feel to be mowing a lawn like this? Like this big, right? It's big, it's big. It's more than I really anticipated initially. But, um, <laughs> It's been work, but it's been fun. Yeah. I can't say it hasn't. <laughs> of course it's fun. Of like, course. Right? You're right. in the mountains. You just mow lawn. It's North kinda... Carolina. <laughs> we don't have this luxury in California. Yeah. Yeah. And it doesn't have to be perfect. You know, we're not looking for golf grass or anything. But <laughs> <laughs> This might be the last mow of the year, Ooh. I'm thinking. Well, Usually around this time, maybe you got one or two mows in because the grass is not growing as, as fast as it, as it used to all summer. So as the frost nears, the grass slowly dies down, which gives us a nice needed break of mowing the lawn. I hope you have something planned for me. <laughs> <laughs> because yes, now that the lawn is no more needed, then we got to cut wood, firewood. Oh, that's right. <laughs> it's, it's about firewood season. That's right. 
now that this trailer is done guys not not the cool trailer but the trailer itself is done as far as renovating I put new lights on it Backlight to work in, yeah. Backlight to work in. Side light is working. Side light, yeah. Fresh paint. I gutted out all the flooring and all. The, I took out all the walls. Now we're at a point where I can turn it into a cool trailer. I am going to be doing a proper video on this build. It's going to be, it's going to be a step-by-step, full-length, start-to-finish build. Today is just my vlog. And part of today is that I need to cut a hole in this trailer. That's the AC unit. That's what's going to be cooling that portable trailer. I need to take measurements of this to make sure I got the hole measurements right because, you know, once you cut out that hole in the side of that trailer, there's no turning back after that. Then I took those measurements and measured out inside the trailer of the square I need to cut out. This is definitely a case of measuring four times and cutting once. Because once you cut, there's no turning back. To cut this out, you drill all four corners and then you use a jigsaw to basically connect the dots. And I'm probably gonna have to use a sawzall to cut this big thick metal here. And then we need to frame this out. No turning back now. Because we're so flimsy right here, I need to frame this out with some metal because the AC unit's gonna pop in here and then I need something for the AC unit to drill into. That means I need to cut these two middle pieces down further so we have room for this one by, so I need to mark that. So this is about one inch. I just need that little piece cut. Let's talk about which tool to use next. Okay, we use the jigsaw to cut out the hole. I felt this is the best tool to use for that. We could have used a cutoff wheel and then cut our way, but I feel like the jigsaw is a little bit more accurate. We could have used a sawzall, but again, you, you can't beat the accuracy with the jigsaw. Uh, this one might get a little squirrely on you. This piece is going to be a little tricky because I don't need any more of this cut. I really just need this bar cut. To get in there with a sawzall might be a little tricky because this blade's so long. This might be the same deal where the blade's kind of long to get in there um, without cutting into this outside wall. The cutoff wheel. I'm thinking this is the next tool to use to cut off that little piece. There's a little bit more accuracy with the cutoff wheel. Now we gotta cut the metal to length and then weld it up. I don't know if I'm gonna get to that today. I'm gonna try to, but sun's already going down. Oh, I lost my tape measure. Man, I hate when I lose my tape measure. Not all pants are created equal when it comes to holding a tape measure. Hey, tape measure, where are you at? Tape measure. Hey, tape measure, where you at? Hey, tape measure. Hey, pigs. You see my tape measure, pigs? No. Luckily, I learned my lesson. I got two tape measures. Two tape measures. It's important to have two tape measures. 
I don't know where the other one's at. I probably will run it over with my lawnmower. Hey, you found my tape measure. Yeah, I found it. It's in the grass. It was buried in the grass. Oh, I knew it. I thought I was going to run over with the lawnmower. <laughs> All right. Almost did. <laughs> it looked like it broke. Oh, man. Maybe you did hit it, but... Maybe I did. Oh, well. Yeah, that's a, it's done. That's why I got two tape measures. Aww. Five hours later, we got smoked chicken. And what is that? This is potatoes and cheese. Potatoes au gratin. <laughs> And then we've got salad. Smoked chicken with all the seasonings and butter. Gravy on the bottom. We've got salad and potatoes. Sure. I have some. Do you want a wing too, Penelope? Only one. Tell me what's that. Is that enough salad? 